Well, a pit bull lab mix jumps its own fence to attack a loose corgi, and it, the other dog died as a result. Now, the owner of the corgi says he is not angry it happened, but heartbroken. As he tells our Jessica Gill, his pet isn't the only one he's missing. He lost the love of his life, Mary, just four months ago. It's because she loved dogs that he loves dogs, particularly these guys. That's Smoochie, Jake, and Snooky. She liked the other guys pretty much. I mean, but she did play favorites. <laughs> and according to John Welton, Snooky was her favorite. Unfortunately, Snooky was killed Wednesday after a pit bull lab mix jumped its own fence and attacked. John says it was a mistake on his part. I just lost track of what was going on, and uh, he wandered off. And he wandered to the wrong spot. And as a pet owner, John says he takes full responsibility. I just, I just wish that I had been more attentive myself. Even says his heart goes out to the owner of the dog that attacked. That owner declined to comment, but authorities say she did surrender the dog and has since been cited with damage of property. Neighbors in the area, like Julie Guile, who happens to teach piano and voice lessons to kids as young as five, says. It's news that deeply concerns her. Yeah, it does. It really does. Um, having a dog killed uh, makes me question uh, what kind of animal would do that. And because, she says uh, it makes her question whether she's comfortable living near it. What do you think should happen to the dog? She, she did surrender it to the Nebraska Humane Society. Do you think it should be adopted out again? Do you no. Again, the lab pit bull mix was surrendered by its owner, the Nebraska Humane Society. Not yet saying what will come of the dog, but I am told it will not be adopted out. Now, as for the owner, who's been cited with damage of property, she now faces a $500 fine and possible jail time, though I'm told it's not likely she will actually go to jail for this. Reporting live with photographer Justin Cheney, I'm Jessica Gill, WOWT 6 News. You heard the owner taking full responsibility for his dog not being on a leash. City law states that all dogs must be on a leash or confined in a yard when they are outside the home. And if you see a dog running loose and it looks to be an immediate threat, call 911. And if the dog does not pose a threat, you're asked to call the Humane Society. We put their number and more information with the story at WOWT.com.